up you guys so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to color grade your clips okay so my favorite thing to use is Lumetri color so I'm just gonna make a new adjustment layer and then I'm gonna add Lumetri color on top of this clip okay so I'm just gonna be working with this one frame and just looking at it and adjusting all the colors of this clip so let's see what we can do so first because this is very flat I like to bring up the vibrance so that all the colors look a lot more bright and not so flat so about 59 I don't know we can mess around with these later oh and then you can adjust the highlights and shadows and all the brightness of everything um so I'm just gonna bring down the shadows everything else looks pretty good to me we can turn the eye off and we can see the before and after look at how much more alive that clip is okay so now we can mess with all the colors and you can also change the temperature of this because if you want like a more colder and bluer sad feeling you can make it more blue and if you want it like a more happy feeling you can make it more orange and also if the clip is too cold looking you can make it look more sunny but I'm not gonna mess around with that right now okay now let's move on to curves which is what I like to use and I also like to use color wheels but let's go to curves um, so if we stay on the white part and we make three points we can change the contrast of this so if we make this is called an S curve if we make an S curve kind of like this it makes it a lot more contrasted instead of just putting that contrast to it okay now I like to mess around with the other colors so there's red green and blue so I basically just make three uh, points just like how I did for the S curve and just mess around with the colors. If you want like a more reddish tint to it, you can bring the red up like this, but you basically just wanna play with all the colors. So I kinda of like the red point below. Um, see, you can mess around and look, if I go down over here, you can see that the greens are green, like very green. If I go up, they are very red. So you kind of just want to find where you like it best. And basically, you just play with all the other colors to see this. And green and red kind of do the same thing, but in off but opposite directions. And with blue, this is where you can kind of make it a little bit more colder and uh, more sad feelings, I guess. But I kind of like all my clips to be blue. Okay, so I like this. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the color wheels. And basically... If you want that orange and teal look, I like to go to the shadows and go to the bluer area and then go to the highlights and um, make it make it more uh, reddish. But I actually might actually go to the midtones here and make it more yellowish. Okay, now if we go down to HSL color, I have a whole video on how this kind of works. So I'm going to link that in the description. It's kind of an old video, but yeah. So that's basically what I like to use. I like to use curves mainly and color wheels, but I also like to input a lot into this too. And if you want to go to the creative part, you can make the fade, you can make it fade a bit so it looks a lot more tumblery, like a Christian make grab, I believe. So yeah, it kind of makes that like very film Instagram kind of look to it. Yeah, that's kind of just a basic color grading tutorial. If you want to add a LUT, I like to go to creative and go to look and you can basically just add any LUT to this. If I add a LUT right here, um, all the settings are still on it. Um, so I really don't like to make the intensity all the way to 100. I like to bring it down quite a bit. Um, maybe about halfway. So now it has the LUT on it and it kind of looks like a faded Instagram look. But look, before and after, look at how different it is. And this is where you can really customize um, your style of your videos and you can make it look like more personalized. And that's why I don't really like to copy a lot of, a lot of other YouTubers uh, color grading because this is honestly where you get to stand out and be unique and just color it the way you want to color it. So I'm going to move over to the second clip I have and see what the footage looks like with the color grading. Okay, wow. So you can see that this is very green. So what I like to do is just I like to cut it right here and I want to change the settings of this adjustment layer as well. I'm just going to reset this LUT because that's probably making a big impact. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, this looks terrible because it's too green on this and the clip itself is already green. Um, we can reset the color wheels. 
So yeah, you can see that the color wheels made a very big impact um, because it's looking really green with the color wheels. So yeah, basically when you're color grading, you kind of want to match um, all your clips to look kind of the same. But yeah, this is kind of like a basic color grading. This is how I color grade. Um, I'm not a professional at all. This is literally what I do to color my tutorials or my videos. Um, and yeah, so look at the difference. Like, look at how different that looks. But you really need to play around with just everything and find your own style. That's the most important thing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, by the time you're watching this, it's probably my birthday. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, please give this video a thumbs up and comment something motivating below because this week has been like really... Ugh, I didn't really want to make a lot of tutorials this week. Um, it's kind of been a bleh week for me. So yeah, your comments really help. Um, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.